Hi everyone, John Naylor here from eCentral Marketing Managers and uh, what an interesting time we've got going on in the world right now as so many people adjusting to a very different style of life, uh, basically a globe, uh, you know, 8 billion people getting used to some very different ways of life. Now, as we're stuck at home, we see a lot of people getting into projects and the reason for this video is that what's actually happening is I'm getting a whole bunch of, I'm getting quite a few different questions coming through from people asking questions about well, how do I do this with digital marketing? How should I market this? I want to start a little online store. I want to, you know, I've got a book and this. So actually, this is going to become a little bit of a series, I think, is um, what I found is, uh, yeah, these questions come through to me. And rather than just doing a sort of once uh, a pers per person response to these, it's probably going to make more sense for me to make a little video so I can share it with uh, more broadly across my, my YouTube channel and across my Facebook friends and maybe someone else will learn something from this as well. But anyway, look, let's get straight into it. So um, today's question uh, that's come through from my friend Sarah. Sarah actually used to uh, live uh, up in Ely Beach. She's uh, actually transitioned into working in the mining industry and uh, enjoying herself quite a good deal apparently. Now one thing she's come up with, and I've actually got the website on the, on, uh, up on the uh, screen here if you can see that it's 50hacks.com com is it Sarah yeah that 50hacks.com and um, what she's done there is she's actually got a range of different little products and services or products specifically that are around um, that are relevant to uh, people working in FIFO and the mines and that sort of thing now um, she did admit to me and I'm going to caution uh, the rest of you straight away around this particular subject as she said she admitted I said Look, Sarah, appreciate, love what you're doing, a lot of energy, but rule number one in this thing, and please tell me you haven't done it, please don't spend any money on any course that promises to make you a digital marketing guru. And well, Sarah, she fessed up and admitted that, uh, that she broke rule number one, is that she did spend a bunch of money on, um, on a course uh, that, uh, that turned out to be a complete ripoff. So rule number one, and this is the first and foremost thing, if I'm gonna make teach anyone anything out of this series, is like first and foremost, don't spend any money on any course that is uh, promising you wealth and riches from learning these digital marketing um, processes and how to market yourself on Facebook or through eBay or through Amazon or any of these sorts of things on, uh, 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 you know, there's so much advice out there for free. And ultimately what a lot of these guys are doing is selling uh, the promise and selling their own model to a certain extent. So you really want to try and avoid that sort of stuff because all you're going to do is put money in their bank account for not a lot of promise. Um, I mean, admittedly, there are people who go through those processes and become marketing gurus and, uh, you know, set up stores and do fabulously well. But honestly, those guys already had the magic. They already had the business acumen. They just applied themselves in a different way around a process that, that's going to work for them. So um, where the rest of us have got to learn this stuff from scratch and we've got to do the hard yards and show the fortitude and the discipline and to get the, you know, yourself up to speed so you actually are, are on top of this stuff under your own steam and rediscipline yourself around uh, the process of the marketing and digital. So anyway, let's talk about um, rule number two then. And, uh, and as my advice around Sarah, she says, well, I've got a bit of traffic coming through Facebook and I've got a bit of this and a bit, a bit of that. And uh, so how do I actually get an, a search engine optimized result? And I've got a whole lot of people asking me that question at the moment. It, it's pretty universe because ultimately you can come up with these products and services, but how to actually get people, get it in front of people to actually market what it is I'm actually promoting. So the answer, I think honestly around this is, uh, well, first of all, and I've actually you know done an hour long seminar, which is elsewhere on my Facebook, uh, if you wanna go look at it. But ultimately, you know, it really comes down to a lot of people uh, uh, talk about pursuing their passion, you know, that this product's fantastic and I believe in it, I've used it myself and you know, I wanna tell the world about it. But the honest to goodness is, is well, first of all, that's maybe something they bought out of China or bought online and looking to remarket and somehow, um, bump the price and make a price increment on that sort of thing. So, uh, you know, the first thing to really look hard at is the source of that passion and have an honest conversation with yourself about whether that product really does have a market, okay? If you look at something and say, well, this is this little widget and it's particularly good for left-handed truck drivers that, um, you know, work on the west coast of Australia where the sun's setting in a certain direction and it's, it's a dozen people in the world. That this product's relevant to. 
So um, a really important point, and this is the thing, is that market research, you know, have and that honest conversation with yourself about whether or not this uh, that thing that you're pursuing, that thing you're so passionate about, is put the passion aside, peel back the layer, um, get a, a close friend to have an honest conversation or a business coach to have an honest conversation with yourself, question yourself. So um, as to whether or not this product really does have a market that you can tap and you can guarantee. And there's that other thing in there is like, well, once you move into this market and start selling this particular product, um, what's to stop other people from doing likewise? So you wanna make sure that you're on top of those couple of questions. Um, onward from there, and I think probably the next thing to talk about is, you know, you wanna make sure, yeah, while you've peeled back the passion layer, you wanna make sure that that passion layer is there. There's no point you really being this person that's gonna market some particular widget into a mass market. Now you've found one in this niche where you can sell this thing and there's some decent margin in there. There's no point trying to achieve that or getting in and selling that product unless I honestly think that you do have some passion about it. Like there's unquestionably one of the most successful things uh, you know, in my works across my entire uh, working career and uh, as a professional sales guy back in the day as an IT graduate that's selling technical products um, has then transitioned into selling myself honestly as a website designer and marketing guy for now 20 odd years is that ultimately you've got to believe in that product and that and that belief then precipitates into a certain passion and there's no question anybody who's seen my sales presentation around Queensland's best marketing program the primary thing we do for our select clientele these days there's no question uh, and people take away and there's always the comment about how passionate I am about showing people what it is we do, how we do it, and then showing them the results we get. So, you know, when it comes down to it, I said, you have to sort of make sure that the product makes sense. There is a market for it. There is margin. There is an opportunity that's exclusive to you somehow, but you want to make sure you got that. But then put the passion layer back on and say, right, can I really be passionate about this product? Because that's ultimately going to be the thing that's going to keep you going because now the rub hits the road and the next step of this process undertakes is whereby you've got to go find that marketplace and find a way to position yourself and uniquely um, relate your passion and the information about this particular product, whether it's a hard thing or a service or um, you know, preferably some sort of recurring income thing, uh, where you can relate that thing through to people in whatever channel fits you. And maybe that's even a point where I should cap off this particular video because um, I know there's a question where you're probably saying, but how do we do SEO, John? How do we do SEO? Um, maybe that's actually a point where we'll address that in a different video because um, that's really the first and foremost. So I want to make sure I sort of bookend that part of the process where you understand that you've got to make sure that uh, this product makes sense. There is a genuine market for it. You haven't spent any money on any sort of you know, high my, uh, so highfalutin or, or, or nonsense product that's going to teach you how to sell, um, that you have identified a product that um, honestly there is a market for and that you, once you put the passion layer back on that you can actually be passionate about it. So anyway, that's the end of this lesson. Maybe I'll shoot another one straight away so I can put it on my Facebook at some other time um, straight after this. And what we'll actually start to do is talk about market segments and where you actually can attract um, a volume of, of traffic, yeah? Okay, see you next time. John Naylor from East Central. Of course, you can reach out to me, uh, text message, uh, Facebook, LinkedIn. Not so much LinkedIn, actually. Just avoid LinkedIn. I don't really answer to stuff in there. So, um, but ultimately, um, if you are interested in, in other services we've got at East Central or Queensland's Best Marketing Program, uh, best thing to do is to lift the phone and, and call me on 0407-151311. And of course, if you're calling internationally, that's a plus six one. 407-151311. Love to hear from you uh, and we'll talk to you next time. Bye.